Shia. Father God, this morning, uh, you are the mighty man of war and we invite your presence, Yahweh Saboet. Uh, we invite your presence, El Giboa. We invite your presence, the one who goes ahead of us. We invite your presence to come and fight on behalf of your children because vengeance belongs to the Lord. Masukere Gadusia. We invite the angel armies, Misantu Rabaku Rabasia, to come and fight on behalf of your children in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Shekele Bokura Babasia, Regado Sufrege de Debosia. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As, as in Second Kings chapter 17, the Bible says about the Israelites in Second Kings 17, I'm still reading Amplified. It says in verse 9, the Israelites ascribed things to the Lord their God, which were not true. They built for themselves high places of worship in all their towns, from the lonely lookout tower to the populous fortified city. They set up for themselves sacred pillars, memorial stones, and asherim on every high hill and under every green tree. There they burned incense on all the high places, just as the pagan nations whom the Lord had deported before them. And they did evil and contemptible things, provoking the Lord to anger. So what Satan made these people do was set up evil altars, you know, and they they cheated themselves and thought that these evil altars were the places of, of godly worship. But literally, they were inviting demons and they were worshipping Ashtaroth and Baal instead of worshipping the true God. Now, in our modern day world as well, you and I know that sometimes you go to a quote and unquote prophetic conference. You go to a conference, you go to this, you go to that. Everybody has the same title. They are called pastors or they are called apostle or they are called prophets. But some of the pastors, the apostles, the prophets are actually merchants of wickedness. They have a secret altar behind the one you see where they are calling Jesus' name, they have a secret altar that belongs to their enemy. And then for some families, some people in our families are still going to evil places and they take your name with them when they go. They represent everybody. They say, oh, yes, help us. And they take people's names to marine spirits, to satanic altars, to evil agendas. They take people. I'll give you two examples. Um, I know a child of God who, when she got married, um, she found out that she married an occultist and this occultist took all her fingernails to the evil altar so that they would be rich. She, she had no fingernails. They removed all of them and took them to their evil altar. That's present day, not past tense, witchcraft. And these are not people who you say, oh, you know, they're just in one village somewhere. They've got no clue. No, they have a clue. You know, she became a victim of the man she got married to. Some people, you know, right now in this present day and age, they are busy taking your clothes, your photographs to evil altars. So as we pray this morning, we see here in the Bible where it was recorded, these people were setting up high places. They were setting up the wrong places. I want you to pray for yourself and your family and begin to ask the Lord, Lord, any way that I'm connected to any evil altar, whether because my DNA has been put there or they have summoned my name, any connections to evil altars, I renounce them, I reject them and I cut them off with the sword of the spirit. I cut off every connection to evil altars, any altar raised up against my divine destiny, against the will of God for my life, any altars raised up against my spouse, his family, my children, my children's children. Oh God, anyone in my bloodlines from my father's side my mother's side any evil altars raised up against any one of us lord we renounce and we reject them we reject them any of our points of contact that have been put on evil altars we reject them father any initiation into evil altars through gifts through food Lord God Almighty, we reject it. We purge it out in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has given you food, they've given you food to connect you to evil altars. Father God, we purge the evil food out in the name of Jesus. The eggs you dream, you dream about eating eggs in your dream. Father God, we purge those demonic eggs out of our system in the name of Jesus. Lord, any initiation into Ashtaroth, any initiation, oh God, into the worship of Baal through the wearing of 
of, of seductive clothes. Father God, we break that initiation in the name of Jesus. Any initiation to water spirits through, oh God, those who pray using water and Lord God Almighty, they were not using the spirit of God. Father God, we purge it out. We purge it out. We break the evil soul ties. We break the bondage in the name of Jesus. Lord, any vows that have connected us to evil altars, evil covenants, evil dedications, evil initiations, Father, we cut them off in the name of Jesus. Brethren, some of you may have heard me talk about my auntie. My auntie once upon a time had a business and then she wanted her business to do well and she was asking for prayers for her business and then her, her so-called sister in Christ said, look, I know a church who are excellent in business. You know, let's go there. The pastors will pray for you and your business will expand. Look at my own business. Since they started praying for me, look at where I'm up to. And the friend at that time had become mega. So my auntie went with her friend to this so-called church. And then the church said they meet by the beach, by the waterside. And um, when they got there, they said, you know, we have to baptize all of you. You have to enter the water. We wash off the bad luck and the poverty spirit. And when you rise up from the water, you are rising up to wealth and abundance because Jesus has given you life and life in abundance. My auntie thought, yes, I'm in the presence of God. They took them into this water. They entered the water and then they said, we dip you in the water and we remove the poverty and the bad luck. And then when, when they dipped her in the water and as she came up out of the water, she saw God opened her eyes and she saw this scary thing. Obviously it was the, 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 the goddess of the water. You know, it looked so scary. And because it was scary, she shouted, Jesus. <laughs> and when she shouted, Jesus, this apparition, fell down in the water looked like big thud big splash it fell down and then the so-called prophet who was praying for her became angry and said look at what you've done look at what you've done now it's not gonna work why have you said that name jesus that's when she understood that she has come to the wrong place child of god what if she hadn't shouted jesus what if she doesn't have the habit of shouting out Jesus? That's how she'd been initiated into the water spirit and began trading with the trade and the stock market and the, the exchange system of under the water. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I renounce and reject every ungodly prayer, every ungodly prophecy. Lord, wherever I visited the wrong place, I renounce and reject every connection to their ungodliness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I renounce and I reject it. Every so-called prophet, so-called pastor, fronting an evil spirit, fronting demonic agendas. I reject you. I renounce you. And I refuse all agreement with your wickedness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anyone involved in idol worship who has tried to include the children of God in it. We reject and renounce your idol. We refuse to worship your idol. We refuse for your idol to influence us in any way. We reject it. We renounce it. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Years ago, I went to a prayer conference here in Manchester. And when we were in the prayer conference, it was a week-long prayer conference. One day, um, a, a reverend spoke to us and said he went to America to minister. And there was a couple who wanted to have children. And they had been married a long time and lived in a mansion and didn't have children. He said that um, they... They invited him to come and sleep on their bed. They prepared their bed, put new bed sheets, asked him to come and sleep in their bed in between them so that they would be able to receive the anointing to have children. I mean, I was shocked beyond sh shock. And then he told us about another person. This person wanted a visa to travel to America, blah, blah. He was tired of suffering in Africa. And he went to the man of God and he said he should spit spit on his tongue or something, you know, so he could have favor. And there were all sorts of things. Child of God, the Bible says in, in second Kings that I read to you in chapter 17, that these people abandoned all the commandments of the Lord, their God, and they made for themselves calves and they made Asherah an idol and they worshiped 
all the starry host of heaven and served Baal. They made their sons and daughters pass through fire as human sacrifices. They used divination to foretell the future, not prophecy divination and enchantments and they sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord. Now, even in the church, there's, there can be idols, you know, rather than serving God, you are serving an idol. You are, if you want them to sleep in your bed before you get pregnant, you are serving an idol. You are not serving God. If they should spit on you, you are serving an idol. We want to pray this morning and say, Father God, every door, that has been opened up by idol worshipping, hero worshipping, Lord serving men instead of serving God. We plead the blood of Jesus and we pray this morning that the door to satanic agendas be shut. Every enchantment that displays itself as prophetic unction, we break it in the name of Jesus. I break the enchantments in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God break every enchantment. Let the power of God break every enchantment, every spell. Let them be broken in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever is not of God, Father God, we break the spell. We break the jinx. We break the enchantment. Anything God has not ordained for your life. Every magic, every spell that had been cast on God's children, I break the spell, I break the magic, I break the enchantment, I break the sorcery, I break the divination, I break it in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every curse, every hex, every vex that have been placed upon you and your family by people who are walking under a contrary spirit. We break the vex, we break the hex, we break the, the, the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Where they've tried to hex you to say you can't go beyond this place. We break the hex, we break it in the name of Jesus. Every vex, any vex placed upon you to bring affliction, to bring problems, to bring struggle. We we break the vex. We break it in Jesus' name. Kaligado so brege delebo kurabasi. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break the hexes and the vexes. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, wherever they've seen what the Lord is doing in your life and they are releasing hexes and vexes, Father God, we break them by the power in the name of Jesus. Every coven that has your name, Father God, I withdraw your names from it. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw the names of God's children from satanic gatherings, from covens, from the warlocks, from the gathering of evil ones. I withdraw your name. I withdraw the name of your spouse, your children, your children's children. All our names, we withdraw them. The names of our children, the name of our children's children, we withdraw them from the hit list of the wicked ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In the book of Exodus, we saw where the magicians of Pharaoh, you know, they... They were trying to uh, compete with the power of God. They did things, you know. They they were able to throw their own rods on the floor, turn them to snake. They were able to bring frogs on the land. But one day, one day, because power past power, you know, the power of God is above the powers of the magicians, the sorcerers, the wicked people. In Exodus 8 verse 18, the Bible says the magicians tried with their enchantments to bring forth lice, but they couldn't. They couldn't. They came to a point where their magic could not work anymore. I want you to pray and say, Father God, like you did in Exodus 8, 18, from today, the magicians, the sorcerers, the witches, the wizards, the warlocks, everything that they are trying to do, I decree and declare that it has failed. Child of God, yesterday I was driving back from university and I passed through um, Manchester, um, you know, on the sides of Manchester city center and there was a humongous billboard, a humongous billboard near the Manchester arena, mighty big, you know, the ones that have flashing lights and it's positioned by a set of traffic lights set by a, a, a and this traffic light has a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic. And so when you, you, you stop at those traffic lights, this billboard, guess what? It's flashing. 
it's it's flashing um hail satan and it flashes in red and black and white background hail satan and it keeps flashing hail satan and after that it brings h&m um fashion adverts hail satan in red letters and i looked at it and i said that thing even if people are not conscious of it it gets embedded in their subconscious mind if they are not careful as they read it, it goes there and they begin to worship Satan in this Halloween season. Everywhere, evil things everywhere. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, wherever the enemy has employed any tactic, whether it's magic, whether it's enchantment, whether it's divination, whether it's Satanism, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus, I declare after the order of Exodus 8, 18, they are failing in the name of Jesus. I declare it a failure in the name of Jesus. Whatever weapon is being employed, we dethrone Satan right now in our families, in our communities, in our nation. We dethrone the reign of darkness. We dethrone it. We dethrone it. We say all hail the King of Kings. All hail to Jesus, the son of the living God. All hail to God, the father. All hail to the mighty one of Israel. We denounce, we denounce, we denounce the works of the kingdom of darkness. We denounce their magic, their sorcery, their enchantment. We denounce it. We denounce all wickedness in this season, oh God. We decree and declare they cannot prevail. They cannot prevail. We denounce them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We know the contentious verse. In the Old Testament, you know, that people have a problem with. It says, suffer not a witch to live. Exodus twenty two eighteen. Now, we are not going to kill anybody, but we're not going to allow anyone to practice witchcraft in peace. They cannot do it. They cannot practice witchcraft in peace. They cannot just continue in peace like nothing happened. Lift up your voice and decree and declare. I refuse for any witchcraft to prosper in my region, in my nation. I refuse for them to even hide under Halloween in the name of Jesus. I expose and destroy their evil works. Nobody will practice witchcraft in peace in the church of God, outside the church of God, in our workplaces, in our children's schools, in our children's schools, their colleges, their universities. We refuse, oh God, they cannot practice witchcraft in peace. We expose and destroy their works. I call the fire of God on every form of witchcraft. I call the fire of God, the consuming fire. Let the mighty man of war release his consuming fire, release his warring angels against uh, every witchcraft every work of the enemy everything that is not of God I decree and declare you cannot practice in peace you cannot practice in peace in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we pray amen the other day, me and the children were driving to school and we saw a, a car in front of us driven by a woman that my children described as looking scary like a witch, mommy. You know, this woman had, she tied um, what like a doll that looks like a dead person, like a dead woman. Uh, she tied it on top of her car. She was carrying it, this big thing on top of her car and my children saw her face before I saw it. They said, oh, mommy, mommy, look at that woman. She's got a scary witch-like face. And then when we looked at her car, we saw this thing she was carrying on top. So I said, children, let's start praying. So as we started praying, lo and behold, we are praying in our car quietly. You know, her car has moved to in front of us. But this woman wouldn't stop eyeing us through the rear view mirror. She looked at us the whole way, you know, like with this eye of like, I don't know, like I can see you, you know. 
everywhere. I want you to pray, even as you are driving, wherever you are going. Father, wherever I am, let Holy Ghost fire consume and destroy the works of witchcraft that are trying to hide behind Halloween, trying to make it look like it's innocent in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy the works of witchcraft. Cast them down in the name of Jesus. They cannot practice in peace. They may have done it before. We refuse for them to do it again. In the name of Jesus, they cannot practice in peace. Wherever, oh God, evil altars have been raised up and they are wanting to pretend it's innocent. Father God, we call the fire of God on every altar that has been raised up to worship Satan. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of God destroy them. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Finally, brethren, before I go, um, Genesis 49, I want you to pray this blessing of Joseph over yourself and, and speak over your life from verse 22. You, you're going to speak and say, I am a fruitful bow, a main branch of the vine. I am a fruitful branch by a spring. My branches are running over the wall, influencing others for the Lord. The skilled archers have bitterly attacked and provoked me. They have shot at me, but they have not prevailed. My bow remains firm and steady in the strength that does not fail. For my arms are made strong and agile by the hands of the mighty one of Jacob. My spiritual life, everything about me is strengthened by the hands of the mighty one of Jacob. By the name of the shepherd, the stone of Israel, I'm empowered and strengthened. Every arrow shot against me cannot prevail. It cannot prosper. I want you to take that declaration. Genesis 49 verses 22 to 24. Speak over yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak over all my brothers and sisters in Christ here. I declare the blessing that was upon Joseph upon them. I declare everyone here and their families are fruitful. They are a fruitful bow of the vine of God. They are a fruitful branch of God's vine. They are a fruitful branch coming out of the Lord Jesus. Yes, they are planted by the spring and the wells of living water. Their branches are running over the wall. They are so fruitful that they are beginning to influence other people. They are spiritual life, their physical life, their financial life, their their professional life, their academic life, every part of them is so fruitful that it's influencing other people. Yes, sir. Every archer of wickedness that has attacked and provoked them, I declare and decree they will never be victorious in the name of Jesus. Father God, these ones here, they remain firm and steady in the strength that does not fail. In the name of Jesus, spiritually, they are strong in the strength that does not fail. Father God, in every dimension, we are strong in the strength that does not fail. I decree and declare over every man, every woman here, every family, your arms have been made strong and agile by the hands of the mighty one of Jacob. You cannot fail. The name of the true shepherd, the stone of Israel, our Ebenezer, our rock of help, the stone of help helps you in every battle. You come out victorious in the name of Jesus because you have been strengthened by the strength that does not fail. Almighty God, El Giboa, Yahweh Saboeth, Jehovah El Shaddai, you are strengthened by the one who is above all things. Jehovah Nisi strengthens you. You receive strength in the name of Jesus. No attack can ever prevail against any one of us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.